Hey, Columbus, Ohio. Hey, did you know the pros and cons of an open floor plan? Open floor plans have been popular for several years now in Columbus, Ohio, and we're also seeing that the majority of new construction homes are being designed with an open floor plan. Did you know that 84% of new single family homes have a full or partially open layouts according to the National Association of Home Builders? That's a lot. I'm Annette Marble, I'm with Key Realty. Before you decide, to complete a major renovation and create that open space, or start your home search for a new home that has an open floor plan, you should consider if an open floor plan is really what you want for your lifestyle, or if you're learn, um, learning, leaning towards an open style because it's just popular. The pros to an open floor plan. They create a social space. Open floor plans are highly desirable for people who love to entertain. Having your living space open to your kitchen creates a great space for hosting, get togethers, or socializing with your family without being in the exact same room. They also optimize your square footage. Oftentimes in, an, in the home style that you don't have an open concept space, rooms can go unused such as a private formal dining room or living room. Homes with an open floor plan also have that feel of a much larger space because it isn't broken into smaller little rooms. They also create a flexibility space to design. Open floor plans provide several options for how you want to use the space without making any permanent changes. Maybe you wanna add a seating area to a section of a living room or use an open dining space as a playroom or office area. These options are endless when you don't have walls to work with. You can increase the size of your area versus another without changing much besides the furniture arrangement. They also let in the light. If you're the type of person who really desires much natural light as possible in your home, an open floor plan is probably for you because your living space is wide open and it's going to allow that light to travel through your home, making your space lighter and brighter. Now here are the cons to an open floor plan. They show the mess of your living room um, when it's open to your kitchen, you're probably going to see that stack of dishes next to the sink. And open floor plans are like having several rooms in one. So you probably feel like you're having more to clean and picking up rather than just focusing on one room at a time. The noise factor. Noise is going to travel much easier through an open floor plan. So if you prefer to play your favorite um, Pandora station in the kitchen while you're trying out a new recipe rather than hearing the sounds traveling from the TV show being watched in the living room. You might want to reconsider an open floor plan. The privacy factor. Um, does it, if, you know, if you're thinking about curling up with a good book without being distracted by sound is ideal, you don't have another space in your home that you can use for more quiet activities or privacy you might want to um, close that open floor plan idea. The fad, fad factor. Open floor plans are extremely popular right now, but most trends will eventually start to fade. Think about your lifestyle and how long you'll be living in that home. What do you think? Is an open plan, floor plan right for you? Is it the right style for you? What is the most desirable part of having this style home? I'm currently booking home buyer consultations if you want to get a cup of coffee and chat about the other home features that are right for you and your lifestyle. How? We can make um, certain styles work for you because if you're buying a home in the next 12 months and you want to make sure you're buying the right house you want, then let's go for it. As always, we're in Columbus, Ohio, and we're keeping it real here in Real Estate with Annette Marble and Associates.